Hello and um, welcome to the uh, wrap for MBO 6 2021 um, for Saturday the 6th of November back to Hereford. It's all down to Costa Coffee. Costa Coffee used to open at 6.30 on a Saturday morning in Hereford and basically for the Saturday market now they don't open until 9 o'clock. So I have no real reason to travel in the middle of the night and I'm well the A449 is a dual carriageway and it's dark and it's not lit and then cross country it's supposedly an A road but it isn't really and I prefer to drive when it's not dark. So anyway I'm a semi-optimized departure and for most of my journey it was either just pre-dawn or dawn itself. And I enjoyed it that way. Um, oh, went to Sainsbury's and get um, an Apple iTunes card. It's a good way of buying them. I get cash back on my credit card, sort of. Uh, I get net the points and as I have recurring um, outgoings off my Apple account, well, why not make a bit of money off it? The lady told me that they no longer do net the points on those cards like Tesco's you don't get club car points I queried this she checked you do and if you have the app uh, open the app just after you made your purchase it gives you a chance to win extra points 16 points for the card so 16 pounds worth and then 20 points in the game and you usually win which is rather good anyway um, I could have actually left a little bit later um, because everything based round the king's fee which is well spoons which opens at eight o'clock in the morning right um so it was eight till twelve in there and it was nice and it was relaxing um i did some amazon purchasing and reflected on life and things did drink a great deal although i did have a new unique Dem Darkness from Hanlands. Um, it was a stout. It's not bad, actually. Um, okay. 12 o'clock, or just before 12 o'clock, onto the Hereford Beer House. Newsflash. The Hereford Beer House, in its present incarnation, only has another nine weeks left. It's going to stay the same, except Johnny and Amelie are not going to be there. Long story short, Johnny's going to become the brewer again. And he's going to be back of house, not hospitality. And I think it will do him well. He's depressed with basically everything. And I don't blame him with regard to people. People are... Well, you know what they like. And he wants to brew beer and have a different life. And I think it's going to work well. Apparently, the guy who bought the place, because it is a guy, is from Lampeter. And he wants to keep it exactly the same, which I think is really good news. Anyway, while I was there, I was thinking about COP26. Basically, what we're going to have to do, according to our friends there, is everything to go electrical. So why aren't we building a bigger grid? Why aren't we creating new power stations, especially nuclear? Um, at the moment, we're trying to get the, well, we did try to get the Chinese to build one, and then the French were going to build one, but the electricity would be twice as much expensive as it currently is. And we're planning at all. I was also thinking about, well, the River Taff. I know of at least three weirs. Put a turbine in each of those weirs. Generate some electricity. That's a pretty consistent source. All the other weirs we've got on all our other rivers. Why aren't we doing anything with that? Yeah, it's all very well marching and not wearing masks and wearing red and all that sort of thing. But why aren't people actually doing things um, because it's easier to complain that's the answer to that one um, I booked some leave in December I was thinking of going to Swindon I'm not altogether sure now I'm keeping the leave though but you know 
there will be beer involved so don't worry anyway hereford back here next week for hybrid be knowing there you go